Remind me again, what are you working on this afternoon? I have two transmissions to make, four Bible stories to archive, then I have to clean out the fridge, wipe down the counters, and mop the floors. Wait, I thought Dot was supposed to clean out the fridge. She was, then Harper's family came into town, so she took Harper's tasks and I took some of Dot's tasks. Got it, okay. Is there any chance you can handle a walk-in? I don't know, my day's pretty booked. Oh, Chevaline. Oh, thank goodness you're here. How busy are you today? On top of meal planning and prep for everyone at HQ, I told Harper I'd make food for a last minute family reunion. I was going to ask if either of you could give me a hand today. We need some more help around here, don't we? We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Chef Elaine, and this is the time I learned how to make friends. And this is our last stop on the Connect HQ tour, the lounge. This is where all the food is, so I spend a lot of time here. I can show you where all the best snacks are. Well, thanks so much for showing me around, both of you. If you were to hire me, I know I'd love to work here. I'm sure you'd be a lot of help, Jeff. But before we talk about that, would you like a snack? They were made by our world-class chef, Chef Elaine. Most definitely. <laughs> so what do you think? He's awesome. He's so nice and funny, and I think he'd be a great addition to the team. I know everyone I've talked to says Jeff is the best. We'd be crazy not to hire him at Connect HQ, right? Captain Alyssa? Uh, oh. You really just snuck up there. Oh. Sorry, I have a bad habit of doing that. I'm Katrina. You can call me Kat. Oh, do you have like nine lives? No. Oh. I'm sorry, Kat. We're closed for walk-ins right now. We're kind of in the middle of something. I know. That's why the Connect Board asked me to come to headquarters to meet with you. <laughs> headquarters? We just call it HQ. Right, HQ. Could I speak to the two of you in private? Um, hey, Chef Elaine, could you keep Jeff busy for a minute? Sure thing. We'll be right back, buddy. So what is it you do for the Connect Board? I'm a member of the Welcome Group. I've never heard of that. It's a new group. Anytime you need a new teammate, we're here to help. So you're here for Jeff's interview. <laughs> That's right. Well, today your job is an easy one. Alyssa and I both think that Jeff is the perfect person for the Connect HQ open position. Well, that's great to hear, but I think I want to give Jeff a test first. What kind of test? May I? Yeah. Perfect. Let's see. Dear Connect HQ, I'm having a hard time finding friends at school. Can you help me figure out what to look for in a friend? Thank you so much, Casey. Captain Alyssa, can you think of a point link that goes with this question? Um, I'd go with be choosy when you're choosing best friends. Be choosy when you're choosing best friends. I wanna see if Jeff can think of a point link as well, along with a Bible link and a verse link. That sounds like a great idea. We can see if Jeff can do the job before we hire him. Exactly. Will you two help me? Hey, Jeff, how's everything going on in here? Right as rain. What's next? Uh, you're going to meet Alyssa down in the hub first, and me and Chef Elaine will catch up in a second. OK, sounds good to me. See you down there. <laughs> Does Captain Alyssa need more food prepared? No, she needs help with something else. But first, what happened between you and Jeff? You guys were fine when I left. I don't want to talk about it. Come on. Everything was going great. And then when I was showing him the proper way to eat cheese and crackers, he dared me to have a cheese and crackers eating contest. I told him that was not acceptable, and he told me it wouldn't hurt anything, and we got into a bit of a fight. I have never heard of two people fighting over cheese and crackers. It happens all the time in cooking school. But it doesn't matter. What does Alyssa need her help with? Well, let me tell you about this postcard we got. Sorry for the wait, Jeff. Are you ready to continue your interview? Let's do it. Great. This is Kat. She'll be helping with the interview today. It's nice to meet you, Jeff. So how is this going to work? First thing you need to do is read this postcard. 
So a list needs us to put together a list of possible Bible links for Jeff to choose from to help Casey with his friend problem. One needs to be right, the rest need to be wrong. Well, the wrong link should be easy enough to come up with. Yeah, but we don't have long to find the right one. Well, there are plenty of stories of friendship in the Bible. David and Jonathan, Paul and Barnabas. Yeah, but I think we need to find one that focuses on how to figure out whether or not someone would make a good friend. What's that one story? You know about the trees and the fruit. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. This one. Yeah, that's it. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. Is alive. Hey, check out my fruit tree. What kind of fruit tree is it? Can't you tell? An apple tree. Well, how am I supposed to know? You need to draw the fruit. Good point. How about them apples? Much better. Another apple tree? Nope. This one's a pineapple tree. Pineapples don't grow on trees. See the pineapples growing on it? Pineapples grow on, well, kind of a, like a bush. Okay, there's a bush. And now for some pineapples? No, not like that. That's like, it's like a shrubbery. This looks exactly like the bush in front of my house. I've seen those. They're holly bushes. You know, because they've got little red holly berries on them. Pineapples grow on, um, like, out of the ground. Like on little spiky, bushy things. Hmm, like this? Yes. See? The fruit has to match the kind of tree it's growing from. Or bush. Yes, or bush. Or even a vine. You're actually helping me make my point. You had a point? The Bible talks about trees and their fruit. I thought the Bible was the story of what God's like and how we can have a relationship with Him. That's exactly what the Bible is. Then how does fruit come into the picture? Or, uh, gingerbread men? Jesus used the picture of fruit to teach us something about us. People are like trees. We can identify a tree by what comes out of it. We can identify a person by what comes out too. Um, I don't think that drawing would be very appropriate. Ew, not that. I mean, what's inside our hearts comes out in words and our actions. The way we live is our fruit. Jesus said how we live matches what kind of person we are inside. You know, like you would never see pineapples growing on apple trees. Wait, I just told you that. Exactly. Just as you can identify a tree by its fruit, so you can identify people by their actions. So, just like we can tell whether a tree is healthy or sick based on its fruit, a person's words and actions show us what kind of person they are. So if Casey wants to find good friends, he needs to look at the words and actions of the people around him. That's right. Great job, Chevalier. Thanks, Mike. But once you think you found someone who would be a good friend, how do you actually get to be friends with them? I thought Jeff would be a good friend, but then we got in a fight. What'd I do wrong? Well, you've already got the easy stuff, like introducing yourself. Sure. But from there, the most important thing is to respect the other person. Ask them about themselves. What are their favorite things? What do they like? Their hobbies, their favorite foods? And really listen to what they have to say. <laughs> I need to take notes on this. <laughs> well, those are the do's of making a friend. The don'ts are don't talk only about yourself. Don't brag or try too hard to be funny. Don't boss them around. You should focus on them and not on yourself. I was too bossy to Jeff earlier. Well, you both could have acted better. Challenging you to an eating contest is not the best way to make friends either. Thanks for your advice, Mike. You're a good friend. Aw, thanks, Chef Elaine. I'm happy to help and answer any questions you may have. Now, we better get this Bible link to Alyssa downstairs. Yeah, we can come up with the wrong links on the way. Good idea. I think we should start in Revelation. 
Great job, Jeff. The correct point link was be choosy when you're choosing best friends. Yes, I knew it. Thank you, Captain Alyssa. Now, will you take a look at these verses? Tell me which do you think would make the best first link? <clears throat> Let's go with the one in Proverbs. That's right. Great job. Will you do the verse motions with me? Sure thing. Okay. The book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 26, goes like this. Proverbs 12, 26. Proverbs 12, 26. The godly give good advice to their friends. The godly give good advice to their friends. The wicked lead them astray. The wicked lead them astray. God made us to need good friends and to be good friends. Friends that follow Jesus will give us good advice and help us make godly decisions. Friends that don't follow God's way will help us make choices that aren't so great. Is everything okay, Jeff? Captain Alyssa, I have something to tell you. I challenged Chef Elaine to a cheese and crackers eating contest. Well, that probably wasn't the best idea, but I think we can let it slide. You see, my friends, we're always daring each other to do things, and it starts off small, like riding a bike without a helmet. But before you know it, someone's bungee jumping off of a cliff. Cool. Mike! Sorry. <clears throat> I realize now that I've given my friends some advice that wasn't good. I haven't always been a good friend. So thank you, Captain Alyssa, for giving me this opportunity. But I don't think I'm the right person for the job right now. I think I need to learn how to be a better friend. Of course, Jeff. It was great getting to meet you. Good luck. So how did it go? Jeff and I both apologized for what happened earlier. And I let him know that if he'd like to work with Connect in the future, he's welcome to contact the Welcome Group. I think he has potential. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. So now it's back to the cutting board. Drawing board? Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, we have to start our search from scratch, but it's better to be patient. Wait for the right person for the job. Just like when looking for friends, patience is always good. That's right. Captain Alyssa, I'll be in touch with you in a few weeks to see how your search is coming. That would be great, Kat. Thank you so much for your help today. Of course, I really enjoyed working with you all. Chef Elaine, I'm looking forward to our cooking lesson next week. I'll see you then. Oh, look at you, you made a friend. I might have had some help. Hi, I'm Chef Elaine, and uh, I think this thing's recording. I've never done this before. Anyway, there's a verse I'd like to share with you today. Say it with me like this. Proverbs 12, 26. The godly give good advice to their friends, the wicked lead them astray. It's important for us to choose good friends because they're the ones who will give us good advice and lead us to right choices. Just like healthy trees grow good fruit and sick trees grow bad fruit, a person's words and actions show us what kind of person they are. If you're looking for a good friend, it's always important to pay attention to how others act. When you find someone you think would be a good friend, remember the do's and don'ts Mike taught me earlier. Do respect them and listen to what they have to say. Don't spend all your time talking about yourself or bossing them around instead. It might take you a while to find a good friend, but don't worry, it's good to be choosing when you're choosing best friends. Trust me, the wait will be worth it. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. How's the search for new teammate going, Captain Alyssa? I think it's still gonna be a while. You know what I think? What's that? Cat would be a good fit for the job. Rolling, 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 rolling their wheels. I always play with my food, but I always eat it. But don't tell Elaine. Chef Elaine, Chef, Chef Elaine. Sometimes making friends can seem pretty tough, but guess what? There's one friend who will always be here for you. If you decide to follow Jesus, you never have to worry about him leaving your side. Do you want to make that choice? All you have to remember are your ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. 
believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. And if you made that decision today, be sure to tell a parent or leader that you trust.